We'll call her Jane Doe, a woman who's now frightened to reveal her identity after bringing down one of the most recognisable faces in America. I'm glad that I came forward and said something because I feel like I did something that any normal person should do. Jane Doe and Russell Taylor had been acquaintances who struck up a texting friendship. Everything changed when Jane Doe received a text that simply went too far and it would prove to be the first domino in Fogel's downfall. He had asked if I wanted to see any pictures of young girls. I wasn't expecting him to offer child pornography, but he opened up a completely different avenue. How did you feel knowing that a phone call and a decision that you took played a key role in helping to effectively save those children from further victimisation? I'm glad that I was able to stop it, but I also feel horrible that they were being victimised. So the man who once had it all, power, fame, celebrity and influence, is now holed up here in his parents' house, in this, the wealthy north side of Indianapolis. He's now just another sexual predator awaiting sentencing. To my surprise, Jared actually started to open the door. Mr Fogel, it's Matt Doran here. I'm just from Crime Watch Daily. I'm wondering if we could have a quick word, please? But our camera spooked Jared, who then sent his own mother to shoo us away. Hello, ma'am. Could we just have a really quick word? My name's Matt. I'm from Crime Watch Daily. Is the, it, we couldn't have a really quick word with Jared. We just want to ask him about the case. Could you just tell us, ma'am, or, or Jared, you're there, you're behind the door. Could you tell us, do you regret what you did or do you just regret being caught? 